Yo! I'm SilverSlayer56, a Valhalla and long-standing competitive player in the Brawlhalla community, coming at you with solid signature combos and reads for every character in Brawlhalla. Let's do it. Bodvar. Believe it or not, Stomp Neutral Sagon Hammer is an option that a lot of Bodvar players have used in the past because it covers a lot of dodges. You should definitely try it, and it may give you some nice reward. D-Light GC D-Sig is a super solid option if your opponent's on the side and doesn't have a dodge, because down sig spikes super hard. This can land you some really early knockouts. It's no secret that Cassidy has D-Light and Sig on Hammer, but did you know that D-Light Gravity Cancel Side Sig also works and does more damage than D-Light and Sig? It's a pretty tight input, but with practice, I think you can get it. At low HP, Cassidy also has D-Light Side Sig Drone Blasters, which does over 40 damage, as opposed to D-Light Sair only doing under 30. Yeah, this character's got some crazy Sig stuff that you should start using. Orion. Everyone loves Orion. On Spear, if you catch a dodge, you can do Side Light, D-Light, and Sig, which might not seem like a good option when you have double D-Light Sair, but it does kill earlier if they are over the side. Additionally, if you have a lot of room on the stage, you can hit this stupid combo. You can do Side Light, if you catch their dodge, D-Light, and Sig, D-Light, Sair, and they don't have their dodge back that whole time. Yeah. This character is nuts. On Lance, you can hit Side Light and Sig to catch a lot of dodges, along with Side Light and Air and Sig. I don't really need to continue, I'm sure you've seen this one before. On Vrax's Lance, believe it or not, if your opponent is dodgeless, you can use Side Light and Sig, and there's nothing they can do about it. If you hit D Light close on Vrax's Blasters, you can do D Light Side Sig, and it's just true. You'll get a good feeling of hitting D Light close versus far over time if you practice enough, trust me. Moving on to Nash now, if you hit Side Light and do Pivot and Sig, Chase, Pivot, and Sig, you can catch some really interesting options that you might not expect it to catch. This Sig is kind of interesting, but definitely start using this option if you play Nash. D-Light Charge and Sig on Nash's Hammer is an interesting mix-up option that catches quite a few dodges. This one's straight out of Crocky's book. I was just trying it out for you and seeing if you like it or not. Queen Nye. If you're playing Katars, Side Light Down Sig will catch you quite a few options, and especially is good if you're looking for a kill. If your opponent wakes up though, I'd suggest not using this option. For reasons I won't explain right now, on Queen Nye, you actually can dodge out of D-Light and Sig on Spear. So another good signature read you can go for is Side Light into Down Sig. That'll catch you a good few dodges, and is generally pretty safe unless your opponent dodges up and in. Alright, let's move on to this stupid character, Hattori. Side Light and Sig on Spear will catch you, potentially, up to five different dodges. So if you're looking for a kill, and you have a lead in the game, I would suggest just ripping Side Light and Sig. There's a good chance it'll catch the dodge you're looking for. Simply Side Light and Sig can catch you a down dodge, spot dodge, up dodge, away dodge, and down and away, which is more than half of your opponent's dodge options. So if your opponent's going to dodge, there's a chance, I'd say a good chance, that they're going to get hit if you do Side Light and Sig. But wait, there's more! If your opponent doesn't have a dodge and you're using Sword, you can use D-Light Gravity Cancel and Sig, and there's nothing your opponent can do to get out of it. It's fast, it kills early, there's no reason not to use it. I'm sorry, I just don't like Hattori, it's just, it's a me problem. Scarlet. On her Lance, D-Light D-Sig is generally a pretty safe option that will catch you a good few options, but unfortunately, it's not so safe if they dodge up and in, so be careful. If your opponent is dodgeless and you hit D-Light pretty far away, you can do D-Light Unsig and there's nothing they can do about it. This will kill pretty early for you. Boom! Our pal Thatch is next. Hitting D-Light close on Thatch's sword gives you access to D-Light Side Sig, which is a really tight string option that works if your opponent doesn't have a dodge. Heads up, it's a lot easier to hit when you dash into it, and look at his health. Look how early that kills. D-Light and Sig on Thatch's blasters will work up to about 70 damage and will be true up until that point. It may vary a bit based on the defense that the opponent has, that the opposing character has, but it's pretty reliable up until that point, I would say. As a combo, it does significantly more damage than a D-Light side air, which I would already say is a pretty decently damaging combo, so yeah, I'd say use it. Ada. N-Light side sig on spear is good to catch a few in dodges. Additionally, it's fairly quick and pretty hard to punish, especially if your opponent dodges out. So overall, it's a relatively safe option. Additionally, although it's not unjumpable, side light, D-Light, and sig will kill very early if your opponent decides not to jump after you do the down light, and the window is pretty tight for them to jump. Moving on to the Blasties, D-Light Side Sig at low HP will work without fail, and it does about 40 damage, so yeah, just use it. N-Light and Sig on Sentinel's Katars will catch you a number of dodges. You can also pivot and chase dodge it to catch other dodges, so make sure to explore with this a little bit. 
and trust me, it will kill for you. Sidelight Side Sig will also catch a good few dodges that you might not expect, such as neutral, down, and up. So I would suggest using it. This will kill for you too. I would mostly suggest going for options like these when you have a lead in the game, since its risk reward is pretty high. But believe me, if you can catch one of these, the reward will pay off. Lucian. Sidelight Down Sig is a pretty safe little poking tool on Lucian's blasters. It's pretty hard to punish, especially considering how you get sent pretty far back when you use Down Sig on blasters. On guitars, you can easily do end light end sig to catch a number of dodges, and if you catch your opponent dodging out, you can do end light chase dodge end sig and it works just fine. This option is actually really good and catches quite a few dodges. I would highly suggest getting used to using it on this character. Taros. Sidelight and air GCD sig on Taros's axe will catch a number of down dodges and is very good for killing. You might call me insane for this one, but sidelight into chase dodge or dash down sig catches a lot more options than you think, and the backside of down sig is really weird and will catch your opponent by surprise once in a while. Plus, D sig on its own does more than 30 damage, so if you think you can hit this, I would highly suggest going for it, especially if you have a lead in the game. Sir Roland, on his sword, if you do end light immediate down sig, it's generally a very safe option that is difficult to punish if your opponent's in front of you and catches multiple dodges. On his lance, doing D-Light immediate down sig can kill very early if you hit it properly and has the ability to catch both in and out dodges. Brin. On her spear, if you catch an opponent's dodge, going for D-Light into gravity cancel neutral sig is good damage and can catch you some really early kills. On her axe, if you hit side light nair and go for a gravity cancel end sig, it catches multiple dodges and can kill very early for you if you hit it at late HP. Asuri. Going for side light immediate neutral sig when they're near the edge of the stage catches a good few dodges and kills stupidly early. Very similar instance with her Kataras, if you go for end light immediate end sig, you'll catch a number of dodges and also have the potential to kill very early. Baraza, going for side light into an immediate side sig will catch you a number of down dodges and also does an insane amount of damage, with the side sig doing over 30 base damage. If you already hit the front side of down air on Baraza's axe, going for an immediate down sig is a pretty safe option for the most part unless your opponent dodges up and in, since it moves you back, and if your opponent dodges out, they're not going to be able to touch you. Ember, on her bow, if you do a side light and then slightly charge end sig, you will catch a good number of dodges. There are more dodges you can catch if you do a dash afterwards and do the same thing. On Emperor's Tatars, if your opponent is near the side of the stage like this, they're likely to dodge in after you side light. So instead of doing a true combo, you can do side light into down sig and potentially land yourself an early kill. It's also really difficult to punish. Skelly Bones. If you catch an opponent's dodges they're landing, you can do D light and sig instead of a D light nair or D light recovery and it will kill much earlier than the other options. On his axe, if you break neutral with a neutral light, you can do an immediate down sig if you want to add up some more damage, as it's generally a pretty safe option if you miss. Koji. If you hit a dash down light on the sword and go for an immediate gravity cancel neutral sig, that is a high damage true combo that no other sword legend has. Additionally, on his bow, if you catch their landing when they don't have a dodge, you can do D light into chase dodge neutral sig, and this kills stupidly early. Ulgrim. Side light down air into side sig can be a very good kill read for you and catches multiple dodges on the ground. On his axe, if you hit the forward side of down air and then rip a down sig, you'll catch people who are dodging in and down. Diana. If you catch an opponent's landing with bow down light when they don't have a dodge, you can go for end sig and there's nothing they can do about it. Additionally, if you catch them without a dodge with an end sig when they are at white HP, you can go for end sig, D light, end sig. And that is some pretty insane damage. If you're looking for a kill on Diana's blasters, going for side light into immediate end sig can be a really good option because it catches four dodges. So if you catch your opponent dodging one of those four ways, I would highly suggest going for this. Jala. When your opponent is dodgeless, when you have Jala's sword, if you hit a down light, you can do a chase dodge to the ground neutral sig and it will kill much earlier than any of your other sword options. This option does take practice though, and it is difficult to master. If you have her axe and you notice your opponent tends to be a down dodger at late HP, you can go for side light and air end sig and you got a nice easy kill. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. If you go for side light gravity cancel down sig on Chorus Gauntlets, you can find yourself some really early kills and catch people who are dodging down often. Believe it or not, neutral light into side light is a true combo on hammer that can be dodged out of if your opponent dodges away. So if you read that your opponent will do this, go for a chase dodge side sig instead. Wushong. Side light into an end sig will catch you a number of dodges and is very good when you're looking for a kill on his spear. 
Silite and Gravity Cancel Downsig on his gauntlet serves the same purpose, which sort of feels like a black hole when you're on the receiving end of it. Val. So apparently Dash Delight and Gravity Cancel Neutral Sig is a true combo on her sword. I actually didn't know this until just now. Huh. Also, have you ever wondered why Val Gauntlet Downsig kills so late? Well, it's because the way this Sig was built, devs would hope you would use it as a tool that you can follow up with at early HP, such as with the recovery. So if you catch your opponent's landing when they don't have a dodge, you just get a guaranteed recovery off of it with a 2 dodge window. Even at the high end play, people still tend not to dodge the recovery anyways, so I would suggest just going for it, and wow that was frame lag. Ragnir. At early HP, if you hit Axe Sidelight close, you can get Sidelight Neutral Sig true without fail. Similar to Asuri, if they're on the side of the stage and you go for end light end sig, you can catch a number of dodges, and if you're able to read their dodge and catch it, they can die pretty early. Cross. Side light end sig on Cross's gauntlets can catch out dodges, which is nice because it brings them closer to the side of the stage and therefore will kill earlier. I've also seen players use side light end sig when the opponent has no dodge, and sometimes the player on the receiving end will not do anything and therefore get hit by an end sig that didn't need to hit them. This one's a bit tricky, but if you hit a dare into a chase dodge down down sig, you can catch an opponent who's trying to go to the wall, as players will often go to the wall as they believe it tends to be safer. Mirage. Side light into down sig on spear can catch both in dodgers and down dodgers who are lacking. And on her scythe, soft side light into down sig can do the exact same thing that her spear does. Nyx. Soft side light into end sig can catch a number of up dodges and is generally pretty safe as end sig has very little end lag. On her blasters, if your opponent is dodgeless and close to the edge like this, you can go for D-Light into Chase Dodge Neutral Sig, and that will kill much earlier than D-Light Recovery. Mordex. N-Light into Chase Dodge Out and Sig can catch both out dodges and up and out dodges, which is great for confirming kills against opponents who are panicking. On Gauntlets, if you land there, your opponent will often dodge down, but Mordex has that covered with Down Sig. Yumiko. Yumiko's hammer down sig true combos into a lot of different things and hits grounded, which gives it great utility. Her bow down sig is exactly the same, allowing you to true combo into things like end light, recovery, nair, etc. Artemis. It may not catch a ton of dodges, but at earlier HP, if you do Sarah the side sig, it's generally pretty safe and can potentially send your opponent off stage if you catch their dodge properly. On her scythe, if you do soft side light into end sig, you'll catch a number of up dodges, and that can give you some pretty early kills. Caspian. When you're fighting Katars, a lot of players, after being hit by a side light, will dodge out. So you can read this if you want by using Caspian Katar side sig after side light, and it will kill very early for you. On his gauntlets, using Nair into side sig can catch a number of down dodges, and this sig is notorious for killing super early, so be sure to take advantage of it when you can. Sidra, looking to catch an in dodger after side light? Go for side light and sig. Works every time. Looking for dare on cannon but not sure what your opponent's going to do after it? Just go for end sig, especially if they're at late HP. This sig has a lot of active frames, so there's a chance that even if you don't know what they're going to do, that they'll dodge right into it. Zul. Looking to score an early knockout on a map like Brawlhaven? Sidelight Nair GC end sig will catch up dodges and can kill them very early. Are you looking for some style points? If you hit them with cannon Sare off stage and follow up with a sly charge end sig on Zul's cannon, you'll get some pretty nice looking KOs. Kaya. Sidelight Ensig on Kaya's spear will catch you a large number of dodgers and can land you some nice early KOs if you read your opponent properly. Sidelight Downsig on Kaya's bow is also a very good option, as it catches in dodges and is generally pretty safe if your opponent dodges a different direction. Isaiah. On Isaiah's cannon, you can go for D-Light Ensig when your opponent is dodgeless and has a very tight dodge window of 1, so even if they do have a dodge, it may be worth throwing it out. It kills significantly earlier than D-Light Neron cannon and does more damage. And on his blasters, if you manage to land downlight at very early HP, it true combos into side sig. Jiro. On Jiro's scythe at late HP, if you hit them off stage with a active input downlight and go for a down sig, it's good for reading in dodges, as players tend to think they're safe after getting hit by that downlight. But his sword is where he really shines. If your opponent is dodgeless, you can go for D light gravity cancel side sig, and they can't jump out of it. Additionally, if you'd like, for better damage, you can go for D-Light into Chase Dodge Down Neutral Sig, which also catches when they're dodgeless. Linfei. On Linfei's cannon at early HP, D-Light combos true into Neutral Sig. And on her Katars, if your opponent's dodgeless, you can go for D-Light into Gravity Cancel Neutral Sig, and they cannot get out of it, and it kills earlier than recovery. Rayman. 
If you land an axe neutralite at early HP, going for an immediate side sig is a good way to catch multiple dodges. Additionally, if you happen to miss, the sig is extremely hard to punish, so if you keep going with it, your opponent's unlikely to be able to touch you. His gauntlet signatures tend not to flow too well with the gauntlet's kit as a whole, so instead, try to catch your opponent off guard with side sig by slide charging it off stage when they don't have a dodge. Dusk. Sidelight and sig on dusk catches multiple in dodges. Sidelight dash and sig catches multiple out dodges, and it kills extremely early if you're able to land this read. And on Dusk's Orb, if you're able to land this Sidelight on Orb when their opponent is dodgeless, you can go for Ensig, and there's nothing they can do about it. Fate. On her Orb, if your opponent is dodgeless, go for Sidelight Ensig. It kills early, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do to get out of it. Doing Active Input Down Air into Sidesig on her Scythe is a good way to catch opponents off guard. It catches spot dodges, and it kills early if you're able to land it. Thor. On Thor's Hammer, D-Light Ensig is a true combo if you land D-Light more stacked. It does quite a bit of damage and will kill a little bit earlier than your classic hammer options. On his orb, doing Sair into Ensig is a good way to catch up dodgers and jumpers and will give you plenty of advantage state if you're able to land it. Additionally, it's fairly difficult to punish. Petra. Sidelight GC Ensig on Petra's gauntlets will kill early for you on maps and catches two out dodges. On her orb, if you send your opponent off stage with side air following up with an immediate side sig is a good way to add some more damage and is nearly unpunishable if you miss. Vector. Sidelight and air into GC and Sig on Lance catches multiple up dodges and kills pretty insanely early. On his bow, if you land with Sair and do an immediate down Sig, you'll catch multiple dodges as well. Volkov. Doing anything grounded pretty much and following it up with a side Sig is a good way to catch spot dodges and in dodges. On his axe, doing end light into side Sig is a great neutral tool and is extremely hard to punish if you miss. Onyx. Sair into Downsig is a great way to catch opponents who are trying to get to the wall. On her cannon, doing side light into Ensig is great for catching up dodgers. Jayun, doing D light gravity cancel Ensig on his sword is a great way to catch people who are dodgeless. On Jayun's great sword, using side light into Ensig is great for all in dodgers, and if you do side light dash Ensig, it's great for out dodgers. Mako. Sidelight into Ensig on her greatsword is great for catching up dodgers and up and in dodgers, especially if you're able to hit the sidelight close. And on her guitars, Endlight into Ensig will make in dodgers wish they had never in dodged to begin with. Magyar. Similar to Thor, hitting D light stacked and going for Ensig will result in a true combo. And on their greatsword, going for sidelight into an immediate downsig is good for catching in dodgers. Zariel. Going for Sidelight, Gravity Cancel, Downsig on Zariel's Gauntlets is a great way to catch multiple down dodges and kills quite early. And my personal favorite, on their bow, if you go for Sidelight into Chase Dodge Ensig, or Sidelight into Just Ensig, you can catch both in dodgers and in and up dodgers. This is also a very hard option to punish if your opponent's not prepared. Reno. If your opponent has no dodge, going for Sidelight Ensig is a good option as they can knock it out of it. And additionally, on his blasters, Sidelight Ensig catches multiple dodges, and on its own is a pretty huge move. I would advise using this attack pretty often. Moonen. Similar to Vector, going for Saren to Downsig on bow is a good option for catching in dodgers, and in general is pretty safe. And on her scythe, going for Enlight into Ensig catches spot dodges along with multiple up dodges, making it a great kill tool. Arcadia. Now Arcadia is kind of weird, because you have Desig on both weapons, which combos into a lot of different things, such as Downsig Side Air. Downsig Recovery, Downsig Ground Pound, and if you hit the Downsig late, you can even combo it into Downlight Side Air. Her Greatsword has a good few as well, such as Downsig Side Air, Downsig Recovery, and even Downsig Endlight D Light. Ezio. On Ezio's sword, if your opponent has no dodge, you can do D Light Gravity Cancel Ensig, and there's nothing they can do about it. You can also do D Light Chase Dodge Down Ensig, and it has the same effect. On his orb, if your opponent is dodgeless, similar to a few other orb characters, you can go for Sidelight Ensig, and there's nothing your opponent can do about it. It kills pretty early. Tezka. This first one's a secret, so I'm trusting you not to tell anybody. Due to the hitboxing of Desig on boots, if your opponent has no dodge, you can do active input Downlight into Downsig, and it kills very early, and they cannot jump out of it. If you hit a Nair and your opponent dodges down, going for Sidesig is a great option. If your opponent's dodging up, on the other hand, go for Ensig. 
Sophia. There's really not much to say about this character. Just no matter what you hit, just down sig after it. Like there's a good chance it'll hit your opponent. Honestly, same goes for her boots side sig. I mean, this character's sigs are insane. You can you can just spice it up with down sig too. I don't know. Just throw just throw sigs out. You'll you'll hit people. And last but not least, Red Raptor. If you go for a side light and your opponent dodges up, end sig is just a death sentence for them. This catches multiple up dodges and is a very good option. This may be subject to change in the future, but if you hit a grounded Sarah at early HP and just go for a side sig, it's generally very hard for your opponent to punish, even if you miss. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know if you got to the end. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, yo.